Right, well, off the fucking... Spanor Spondo. Anor Schmondo. What was the name of that? Spanor Schmondo. Man, see, watching that back, I was on form. What I do you parried mean? like almost every fucking set. Right, there was a few instances right, where there was a silver knight spear. Right, you take your own head out your right. own ass. There was a silver knight spear that gave me a bit of trouble. Right, I'll get, I'll get <laughs> that. That fucking thing is just kryptonite, right? <laughs> but see, the swordsman fucked oil on me. I, I was impressed. Is what I'm trying. Fucking to hell! Two shot. Yeah, it's the silver. Brat, brat, brat. Pretty good. <laughs> weapon, isn't it? Wait, this, this. Oh my it's god. The SKSS. Yeah, get the boulder sword out. No, no, you the silver knight sword does a little bit more damage right now. Does it? Yeah. Inexplicably, I. The boulder sword will do Is more that? damage if we use power within a great magic weapon. Because you can't buff the silver sword. Yeah, you can. Like, oh, can you remember you when you thought these were hard enemies? You can in this That's one. That's so funny. Hell yeah. Like 20 years ago. I wonder these if these things <laughs> take extra holy damage at this mod for some reason. Perhaps. Because the Silver Knight Sword is doing ludicrous damage. <laughs> <laughs> like, Nothing is safe. I, then thing. again, we are over leveled for Anor Londo now. Like, Anor yeah, Londo is about that's, level that's 50. Thing, it? So, oh, like, are you? 67. Alright. So, oh, the boar isn't here now. Yeah, one of the unfortunate side Can effects of this mod is that because the enemies are placed in different places and more clustered together, you do get a lot more souls. As well as like the yeah. additional enemies, the pretty boss fights and stuff like that, end up giving you a lot of souls as well. So you end up pretty, uh, pretty over leveled. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, they do make the game slightly more difficult in areas. So being as over leveled, it isn't as bad. But oh, thank if you. it was the default game and you were this level with weapons like this, you'd fucking annihilate. I mean, I've it. seen people play through the game, vanilla like game like this. Oh, and yeah. it's that would very be nice. challenging. I uh, I had the hardest time doing the soul level one. <laughs> the hardest time doing the soul level one. This game is very unforgiving. Very unforgiving, especially uh, if you're trying to set challenge runs and shit like that up. Dark Souls 3 is harder. I think Dark Souls 3 can be a little bit more... Wow, I'm amazed you like, just scoff in my face. I think Dark Souls 3 is a little bit more forgiving though because you have yeah. way more control over your character oh, I, in that I think, game. I think Dark Souls 3 is actually harder in terms of like the boss fight difficulty, in terms of like yeah. consistent boss fight difficulty. Cause, yeah, a like, lot of the bosses in this game are pushovers. Yeah. That's but, true. I think that because you have such, uh, there's like so much more added control in Dark Souls 3 because it's not fucking four directional, you've actually yeah. got any direction to choose. The stamina cost for shit's pretty low, you still get a lot of iframes even at 70% weight and shit like that, so yeah. these things I think make the game a little bit easier to do on a low level Wait, run. Wait, this thing didn't... No, because you've not killed the Hydra yet. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, you need to kill the Hydra, oh. and then free Dusk, and then you come back here and kill it, and then you get this, the fragment thing, the talisman. <laughs> fucking convoluted fucking shit. It's just time, mate. Oh, It's, it's just selling game. strategy games, man. Yeah. But, um... So just games are only I think, like, complicated that, yeah. just for strategy games. Why would that be a thing, any other... In I mean, for the, what the strategy guide companies hate the internet because they've completely oh. obliterated them. Oh, yeah. Deed in the water, man. IGN's literally just a free strategy guide because it's about as good as the strategy guide you're going to get okay, from, like, so fucking Prima and all that shit. Right, I'll, yeah, I'll tell you what. Guys, oh, that's they're the fucking old school. awful, man. We no, they're not even old school because didn't Prima make Which the one? Dark Souls 3 All one? of them. Yeah, we have all of them. We have all of them, yeah. Um, all right, okay. Prima made the Dark Souls 3 one. And it was oh, fucking so garbage. garbage. Yeah, you told me so that around bad. the time of release, actually, the like fucking... the stuff missing from this. <laughs> like the guidebook for the DLC for Bloodborne was bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. It That's was bigger. mental. That's crazy. That's how shit Prima are. And some of the like a lot of the information in the guide was there, but there was just like no, there was no like going beyond what was necessary. So like, they literally yeah. just went minimum effort for the guidebook. But maybe it's a case it of no awful. competition. So when no, they, they would have charged. They probably would have charged FromSoft or Bandai Namco less than what fucking the. Uh, what are they called with the uh, what's the name of the publisher that did the other ones? Infowars. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The other one. Uh Prison Planet. Bar <laughs> No. <laughs> Prison Planet <laughs> Pleasant Planet dot TV. The, the other cuts the uh, Future Press. Monopolis Future Press. Press. TV. Future <laughs> Press <laughs> Um <laughs> Don't hate on Milo. Future Press, Future Press were probably more expensive, but Future Press are way fucking better. <laughs> they should have got the same guys that done the Bloodborne one, like Epic Name Bro and all that. that was they Press. done fucking amazing. Again, that, that guy was, was so Future good. Press. No, I know, but they pulled Epic Name Bro and uh, oh, sure, German sure, Spy yeah. and all that in on it as well. Yeah, yeah the, the, the Bloodborne guide may be like one of the greatest guides I've ever read. Like, yeah. The detail in that game. It showed you the fucking damage frames and iframes of attacks and shit I like that. Every guy so so it's that. It's unbelievably really detailed. And the fucking DLC guide was so in-depth as well. It was amazing. Like the It was one of those things where, like, see the guidebook for this game? If you read through the guidebook for this game, there's still more to learn. Not with a yeah, bomb yeah. guidebook. No fucking chance, oh, no, man. They didn't mess up beat. Yeah, they didn't mess stuff you wouldn't play. learn in a hundred years of play. Like, yeah, that kind of it's stuff. It's crazy. Like, so there's the absolutely reason, nothing they missed. The reason why the Dark Souls 3 one was so dog shit was because 
it would tell you where cert it would like name certain items on the map but not name other ones so if we're like trying to like make a list of all the items to mark off it just has consumable item, consumable item, consumable item. We don't actually tell you what it is. No, no. it just tells you it's a consumable. So see, it's if it's like... a minor item, it doesn't title it. It just tells uh, you. Ah, see, that's, that's incredibly lazy, isn't it? For a Especially, yeah. Yeah. Especially for Dark Souls. Nice clipping, bro. So it meant that when we were trying to do the thing, we had to like make our own list, yeah. essentially. And especially when the guides before it were so unbelievably wait, fucking. Wait, 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 wait a fucking minute. Yeah, the crystal guy's not here. No, no, no. no. This thing's cape has cloth physics. Yeah. Since when has that been a thing? Mods are great. That, this isn't news. That, that can't be a modded thing. Like, yes, it can. But I don't remember it being a thing. It might be. You don't know what it is. <laughs> Did the Silver Knights in Orlando have cape physics? Because I, didn't I can't know. remember. I was, too, I, was, I was too focused on like the actual... Tell you what, though, the enemy placement for this uh, this like part is actually weaker in this than it was in um, yeah. vanilla. Although this guy has uh, a lot of poise. <laughs> But he's uh, not got a lot of health. I mean, you are horrendously over my wood. <laughs> I cannot believe how fucking strong this weapon is. It's what the same. Up the so the C scaling that you're getting from the Silver Sword is giving it that little bit extra on top of its high base damage. It's actual mental. The Boulder Sword will out damage it in the end, but that doesn't even matter. Hey, not bad. <clears throat> and wait, what doesn't matter? You said something that I've not picked up on. See the ball. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, do we have a rare ring of sacrifice? We should. No, we don't actually. Fuck. Oh, we do. Where did we get them? Fuck. Who cares? This is the problem with Where this did mod. We get in? This is the problem with this mod. I don't know. Can I kill C here? Bring it on, bitch. Nah. He still has that like magic crystal that just makes him immune to damage. Here, see if you like no clip <coughs> and you fly up to him. Can you oh, kill him? Can that heavy one shot him in he, the face. He can do the laser beam attack in this state. So yeah, he can still hit. Fuck's sake. Heavy frame rate. Although it does kind of make me think, if you were to use a mod that gave the weapon like infinity damage, could you one shot him here? Like, would the one shot outdo the healing he well, gets? Well, like the fucking uh, like the unstoppable force meets him over. Yeah, yeah. Like, could you could you do that? Because if you damage him here, because you can hit him with soul spears and stuff, his health just regenerates, but it's not instant. There's yeah. like a small delay. So I wonder if you could mod the damage into one shot. Could you kill Ethan that encounter? Personally, I think Someone that has probably done it, I just haven't seen it yet. Uh -huh, so, rat boy. Personally, I think that it's the unstoppable force that wins. Why? Well, basically because it's unstoppable. What is that line even from? What do you mean? The unstoppable force, immovable object thing. Just a, it's just a, it's just a, it's maybe a thought experiment, but obviously yeah. unstoppable force wins. Honestly, I th no, I'd think the immovable object would win because it's immovable for a reason. No, but, it but it's, un it's unstoppable. What you're not but getting. But it's immovable. Yeah, that's the right, 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 right. right I, I get what you're saying, but the thing is, is that the force itself is unstoppable. Right, but what you, but in your mind, then you're saying that unstoppable has a higher priority over immovable. But in our mind, they have the same priority because they both have the same. All right, right. So do you remember that thing in maths? It was like bomb dash or something like that. Bomb right? mass. It's just that. Well, it's order of operations. Aye. So, so it's rock, paper, scissors. You do the stuff in the brackets so first or whatever. what makes you think that the moving object gets priority over the object that cannot be moved? It's in brackets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to write this one out and yeah. show us your work. Yeah, you're going to have to give me a little bit more than it's in brackets, you fucking moron. <laughs> anything more, actually. Just anything more. I was trying to see how long I can keep that gun. <laughs> oh god. So what do you actually think? Um, I think it's unstoppable force. Why? Well, because, why don't you think because it's, it's drop? unstoppable? Right, but why don't you think it's a drop? Uh, like, why do you think unstoppable takes priority over something that can't be moved? Well, right. So imagine something that could be stopped, right? Right. Now imagine if it couldn't be. <laughs> You can't even make it to the end of it, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like seriously. Commit but, to it, Tony. Oh, what? So imagine something that could move. No, imagine something <laughs> that can't be moved. Right, so right, but here's the right, right. The way I see it, right, is <laughs> the way I see it is right. <laughs> Continue. <coughs> right, so you've got the Earth, right? Right. No. Which you, Earth? This Earth. The Earth. <laughs> No, the thing is, is that nothing could be unstoppable because at some point you're going to have a force so great that if it was to hit this unstoppable object on Earth, it would just like the Earth would just spin at like an incredible speed because it's just it's immovable, right? Yeah, but what if it's immovable in space? That's impossible. 
But so something being unstoppable. Nah, you've got the sun. Is the sun unstoppable? Nothing. Could you stop the sun? <laughs> the I mean, sun is currently stopping itself. It doesn't. <laughs> where's, it where's it going? Like, what? Yeah, where's it going? Where's like, it going? The sun. Anywhere. It's unstoppable. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not like it's. It's what? Well played. Stop talking a fucking flat air for him. Yeah. Info war supporter. <coughs> what? So talking to you? I'm woke as fuck. Oh my god, what was it? what's the wokest thing you know? Uh, I told you about all the Pizzagate stuff, you didn't believe me, and then I showed you the emails, and you're like, nobody's being pedoed, it's fine. Nobody is being pedoed! They're Nobody definitely. ever. Why is Obama making orders of $50,000 worth of hot dogs? What do you think that means? I, what? <coughs> well, I mean, to be fair, Michelle Obama's definitely a man. Michael Obama. <laughs> Hi, we Michael Obama. Don't dead name him, it's disrespectful. <laughs> dead name? <laughs> Oh, oh man! <coughs> I love that LGBTQN photo. What it's info? so good. <laughs> the no the N stands for. <laughs> wait, wait, go on. What do you think the N stands for, Tony? It's like white people in an <laughs> argument and they hit N on the keyboard. <laughs> New. Yes. New or? It's a. Uh, oh, it's great. So uh, Elon Musk was fucking. Smoking up a big fucking doink. No, he wasn't. My man, he. What do you mean? No, he wasn't. There's video evidence. He didn't fucking inhale a drop of that shit. Oh, that was it. Yeah, Look, he, he smoked it like he was smoking a cigar. Yeah. And he took one drop. Yeah. No, he, he took a big fucking. He took a big fucking 1960s puff on. Aye, that into his mouth, not his lungs. He didn't inhale it. He just took it into his mouth, and then that's why it all came out instantly. No. Immediately, as soon as he took it away from his lips. That's, you realise that you know lizards' respiratory, respiratory systems are different. So he's a you. lizard now. You know that Joe Rogan is a pure big boy puffer, and he probably put like a million grams of weed in that joint. So that's why there was so much. Smoke. What is up with these fucking things? Like, Fuck's sake, man! Fuck off! But there was nothing after like that bust that came out after he took it away. So it, it doesn't look like he inhaled it. Nah, he's the smartest guy ever. He probably knows how to inhale better than we do. Or he knows how ever. to make it. Look is he not? Like the, is he not the smartest guy ever? Does he look like fucking Sheldon? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lord Sheldor. I mean, he might not. Have, what is been, Hawking smarter than him? What is dead? Sh what is Sheldor? The dead man be smarter than the smartest man. man. <laughs> you said the smartest man ever. You didn't imply that they had to be alive. Yeah, he's probably smarter than Hawking. He's a spastic in a wheelchair. It's Elon true. can walk and smoke Look, joints. And I shit. <laughs> he's only a spastic in the physical sense. His, his brain is still fucking functioning on a level that most people's can't. What if they combined forces and Elon built him a robotic body that he could like do shit An with? exosuit? Yeah, <laughs> and he could get his hole properly. Can you imagine giving a fucking bionic cock? Imagine <laughs> having to be the cunt that gives him his daily wank, man. Did you know there was someone? <laughs> I mean, how much would he pay someone Ex to do that? Exactly, I, imagine exactly. I imagine it would be more than enough to suffice. I don't know, man. You need to pay a lot for that. It's not as if he can't afford it. The guy was loaded. Was he really that rich? That's the thing. He's pretty rich. He, he's, he, he, it's not like he was low pump. Do you know what I mean? Think about all the fucking. Think about all the different things that he's got. It's not just his. Wow, you fucked. You dirty bastard. Did he hit you with a white dragon breath, or was that a spear that hit I you? I don't know. I just died it's immediately. Spear. Um, I've, I mean, I've yet to look at it. You're getting lightning shot at you by one of those fucking. Yeah. Yeah. No. So I need to kill this guy quickly, right? It's the sorcerer, is it? Why do you keep saying sorceress? What part because of that looks like a fucking woman to you? Do you want to look up the wiki? Right, show me the tits. Point to the fucking doll where the tits are. Steve. Wow! How close-minded <laughs> to assume so, uh, that it needs to have tits to be a woman. It is 2018. Well, it needs to maybe look at least a bit feminine. You know what, I'll look up on the wiki in my phone right now. Racist. Right now. Oh, I put heavy proving me wrong. I don't care what the fucking wiki says. Can you not put a Battlefield 5 advert on the Dark Souls wiki? Why? Oh fuck, I didn't get the beta, is it still out? No, don't get it. Why? Boycott it, are you kidding? Why? False history. SJWs try to overtake our history. I literally hate you, Kevin. Why? Because you're just spouting gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. False history! Who cares? Who cares? It was how it was what ninety years ago or something. Who gives exactly, a fuck? It was ninety years ago. Don't be disrespectful. I get the respect your elders. I no, I don't care about the same thing. You do seem to care, care, like more than me anyway. What I'm just saying, don't like falsify our history. It's usually, what's the normal flow? A word that a white man should not say. <laughs> that, um, 
Oh. Anyone shouldn't <laughs> say yeet. <laughs> <laughs> well, good knowing you. <laughs> what, how did that happen? I'm going to hazard a guess and say it's because you bad. Philip de Frank. Oh! Yeah, no. I'm fucking no, it's all celebrity shit that's going on right now, so I've like zero interest in it. Oh, you only yeah. care about the end bits of his shows where he talks about Trump fucking endlessly. Not you. We get it, he's a fucking idiot! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> fuck Trump. <laughs> Truck thump. <laughs> Maybe I need to run and jump to that. No, you don't. You just need to drop off it, not facing the bookshelves because you'll bounce off the ledge. So just drop off to the left slightly. Yeah. Crazy how that works. Crazy how nature do that. Oh, it's still just the main. But I just forgot about it. I see. There we go. The woman on the the, the men of the the snake men and the snake women man. and the women are the. Picasso things, for, I don't know why they do Just that. because the Picassas are women does not mean that the snake sorceresses can't be women. You mean just the snake saucer? Er. Aye. That's the male. So what, <laughs> just snake source? Mage. Mage? <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, that kind of works. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Snake mages. Can you get women mages? Uh, yeah, sure. Reptomancer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's perfect. Yeah. It sounds like a fucking uh, hybrid class in Path of Exile. <laughs> you need to get out of here. No, he's already dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm all shit dead. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh wow, get away man. with murder here. Get up the absolute lot of you. It's fine, there's only three more of them for you to go through. Why don't you just parry him, Tony? Uh, 60 FPS or something. Mad cause bad. <laughs> I managed. Right, okay. You just need one shot. I'll parry him with a fucking skull run. <laughs> I don't think it works like Come that. Come on then! <laughs> <laughs> fucking blind Oh, there we go. <laughs> fucking. You gotta scud him with it. Eat my fucking ass. You fucking wrecked <laughs> <laughs> him with a skull lantern. <laughs> but it fucking three yeah. shot then. Why does it do so much? Oh yeah, pyro skills within. Oh, oh, that is that it. I... Here, do you know the lift in my flat has been out for two months again? Oh they only God, put them how? in three months ago. Wait, have they, have they stopped drilling? No, they still drill on a fucking regular basis because it's a fucking high rise flat. But see the lifts. Right. They put new lifts in. Uh huh. It was working for like a month. We had two lifts, and then this lifts off. And oh, it's a complex repair, so it's going to be out for another two fucking months. Well, so they, was re one they were repairing those lifts for like two fucking years, man. Yeah, yeah, and they put new ones in. And now they're going to repair them for another fucking two months, um, nice. even though they've only been functioning for a month. It is unbelievable how shite the housing are. Cowboys, Stephen. Cowboys, the lot of them. How many floors up are you going to have to walk then? Oh, none, there's just one lift currently working. Oh, so you have to wait the fucking ages. So yeah. what, what would happen, right, here's the thing, what would happen if the lift died? Oh yeah, then I'm walking. Right, but what about like people in like wheelchairs and shit? Fuck oh, shit. Deed. Crawl up the stairs if you have to. <laughs> what happens in this situation? What you yeah. have to do, Steve? No, there was a, they put fucking letters through the door saying, uh, right, there's a, so this is when there's only one lift function, putting letters right. through the door saying, oh, um, the last Friday of every month, the lift will be out of service from 11 o'clock until 3 in the morning for maintenance, and it's like, right. But then there'll be zero lifts on. Right, so what you have to do, Stephen, is you need to <laughs> How do you plan to make this work in a high-rise block of flats? You have to protest, Stephen. You have to shit in the lift once a day until they fix it. Oh, Pringle! It's like, it's like that scene in Wreck-It Ralph. One shoe pop. <laughs> 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 Just don't. No. You can't stop. People have been eating Pringles for thousands of years. Endlessly. That's older than civilization, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Wait, what? Even the tubes? No idea where it came from. They, they just did that, that design, yeah. It's like cylindrical. What, now we have Egyptians? a plus two Estus. I think that's where they got the idea for the wheel from, actually. Well, this circular design, yeah. yeah, yeah that totally. circular design! Look, if you take the top of the Pringle tube, it's a wheel. <laughs> and we know that's been kicking all around longer than Mankind, so you know. It's... What, Mankind? Us or like Mankind the Wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> Cause he's pretty old these days. He's like 50 something, isn't he? It's not that old. I think he's older than that. I, I thought he'd be older he's like than that. 60? Nah, yeah. he's not 60. Yeah, I think he is. Do you not think that James Hetfield's age only makes his voice get better? No. Makes him sound gruffer? Like, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they have to downtune songs like more than a step and a half, they'll, they need to stop touring. It doesn't even sound the same. It does. Good argument, mate. <laughs> really fucking good argument, it does. Solid. Well, no, right, basically what's going to end up happening is going to sound like fucking Sun Olive eventually. Where it's just a wall of fucking sound. <laughs> his voice is just like, only whales can hear him. Could they not just <laughs> carry okay to like his voice, but they play the instruments, do you know what I mean? And it's like a pre-recorded voice. It would be epic. Oh, epic. Oh, get, get, like, get all the wee fucking lassies for the fucking audience to come up and sing as well. Hey, 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 hey. What? <laughs> you know that where they done it. Um, <laughs> Here I go. Oh, yeah, <laughs> 
Oh, that, that would be great. Here I, I go would... in two new days. I like how they put up, like, tons and tons of videos on their YouTube channel. Like, any time they do, like, a big show, they, like, put up, like, a live recording of, like, whatever song. And it's nice to see them um, slowly and slowly degrading performance. <laughs> yes. And, and you know what the funny thing is? Every single comment is like, wow, they're definitely getting better, not like X time when they played. Which makes me think, like, they must have been fucking terrible how for many, like 15 years. How many times do you think oh, Ozzy's tried to sue his own YouTube channel? <laughs> 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 it's my content, damn it! <laughs> These guys are uploading videos. Ah, oh, strike! <laughs> <laughs> the definition of cognitive dissonance. <laughs> like, La- Lars Ulrich Vivo, what? <laughs> <laughs> Not on that watch. <laughs> Bam. I like this shit happen once with Napster, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Zero tolerance policy. <laughs> Do you know they're doing their own whiskey and it's been blasted with our music during the process of it being made? What an arbitrary thing to happen. Fuck yeah, I was like, it's such a gimmick and it could, it wouldn't matter which music you blasted it with, but they're essentially paying like 70 quid a bottle for blackened whiskey. Aye. Blackened? Is that yeah. what they're calling it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Goth whiskey. Yes. They know their market. I mean, I guess they do, but... Yeah, like... but the problem is the market. <laughs> who do you think has paid more, um, who do you think has paid more money, Metallica or Kiss? Oh, Kiss. Probably like, merchandising's like crazy for Kiss. Molly Metallica. Metallica have been around a lot yeah. longer, though. No, they've what? not. No, they f- what? Kiss started in 1973. That far back? Yeah. They were like a classic rock band. Like, a oh, real classic rock band. I didn't know it was that band. far back. Fuck. Also, they, they just merchandised the hell out of absolute everything. Like, Kiss condoms, Kiss coffins. I thought they, like, came everything. into their stride in the 80s or something. No, that was arguably the period when they were, like, selling the themselves out good, and right? just... Do, like, because they were, like, uh, changing right. genre Scooby-Doo every album and, yeah, shit like that. Like, Scooby-Doo crossovers and fucking <coughs> rotating door band. Literally anything to get money, by the way. Like, I mean, absolutely Money, grubbing, anything. and I'm sure you can get the last one. It's Jews. <laughs> <laughs> money, grubbing, fucking Jews. How did I get this thing to spin room? Who do you, you think the owns button. the media? You're gonna um, get onto the staircase first. Rupert Murdoch, probably. I mean, he owns, he owns some of it. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. He owns a significant portion of it. Is he Jewish? Um, Might as well be. He has the ethics of one. Basically, is what you mean to say. Basically, in essence. Yeah. Oh, check that. Oh. Swift. Look at that. He just fucking. I frame a beautiful. As that, swift as a coursing river. Oh, like, like, nice. Right, there's no way. Right, you're just wasting stamina. Why don't point. back off? You need to dodge. Why don't you just parry him? You got shot in the back with an arrow. Oh, you're <laughs> just melted with arrows, mate. Right, okay, here's what happens when I parry. You're gonna end up like fucking Boromir. What? You miss and you do lose all your health. You do it far too fucking early. Parry the hand, not the sword. And the hand starts coming. No, parry when the hand's about hit. There, there you go. go. There you go. <laughs> you can't even post on a stairwell, Tony. That was realistic. Why even tell me to fucking parry then? Because I, I figured you'd know not to parry on. Oh, you figured I'd know something. Good job. Who's the bigger idiot here? Evidently you. Still you. I don't think so. So here's something that's meant when you put it in perspective, right? Uh, the Rolling Stones formed, it was like a year or two years after the Beatles and they're still going. I mean, they're terrible now. <laughs> they are, they're literally they, just they are the worst. Noise. Like, Metallica look good next to them performing live. The Stones are awful. It's literally like zombies with fucking instruments <laughs> at this point. <laughs> like, the fact that Keith Richards is still alive is like a miracle to modern medicine. <laughs> That's crazy. But they're going to start sampling his DNA to try and make some sort of formula to lengthen life. <laughs> like, what the fuck is actually going on here? Because the fountain of youth was you Keith them? Richards all along. There'll be, be millionaires in 30 years time like paying millions just for vials as blood. The guy looks vials like a leather shoe that's been left out like children. Sun. What? Have you seen the guy? The guy looks like a leather shoe that's been left out in the sun. Yeah, he's a very, that, like, a very well one. used wallet. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to get a new wallet sort of Have shit. you ever seen those all black and white pictures of those wallets that the Nazis made out of Jews' you, by the way. That's <laughs> what he looks like. I've not seen that. It's fucking horrible, man. Aye, they'd cut their tits off and make wallets for them. Epic. Fucking hell. Epic. <laughs> That's fucking Shapiro hardcore. fucking loves that idea. Imagine how many wallets you can make out of his fucking system. <laughs> <laughs> That's so bad, mate. It's dark, mate. <laughs> so are we all getting the Peterson t-shirts or no? Oh, 
what? <laughs> Shirts where he pictures a lobster. Oh, oh no, I, lobsters. it's him as Uncle Sam, and it says, "I want you to clean your room up." <laughs> <laughs> These are actually real. You can get them off Amazon for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> my mate in America is going to the lecture in a week he's Ooh. got tickets and he's got the t-shirt already my god is he going unironically uh, yeah what? yeah yeah. he's like a total like Infowars conspiracy nut he's really fun to talk to oh shit. I'm sure he is uh, not if you're like you and you just put up walls of resistance everywhere I'm woke <laughs> I'm open to new opinions I am the resistance <laughs> Well, did you uh, fight the space Nazis or whatever? I'm joining the space force. Shut up. <laughs> I want to know, like, is this still in the planning stage? It's going to be like, Power Rangers costumes. I can't. They're just wait. like, right, guys, we need to do something. And space just force. Like, right, oh. yeah. Who who has an idea? Does, does MD have an idea? He's going to just copy Red Dwarf. Well, no, 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 no. It's going to just be a bunch Starship of Starship Troopers. Troopers. Aye, aye. Are they going to get that black guy from it as well? Why not? <laughs> I just fucking get Mo- who, who is it? I was going to say William Martin Lawrence there. That's not his fucking name. That's Lawrence like Fishburn. L- Fishburn, I Will Smith. No. Fishburn. Is was it Fishburn? Was it? Because I was just saying black Was he in actors. Battlestar Galactica? He's from the Matrix. He's Morpheus. Is he? What was, who was the one that was in Battlestar Galactica? Uh, Will Smith. No, it wasn't. Blackman? <laughs> Phil Blackman? I don't think we're going to get Hugh any close Blackman. to the answer. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just a guess. I mean, this line of inquiry doesn't seem to be going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's going somewhere you don't want it to go. Definitely. Nowhere. It's just... Keep digging. Devolving. <laughs> yeah. Whoever was last in this room thought the same about me as books. Just like, pfft, it's shite. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the games? See, it's blind. He's not even reading this shit. Can't even wave dash with this fucking book. Buy book. Hello, Smash. It's not even that good. Nah. Smash Ultimate will be the ultimate. There's ones in here that are mimics. It'll be ultimate because you said it'll be ultimate or because it says? Um, both. Well, so, like. Oh, there you go. Nah, the only way that the, the Smash Ultimate will be Smash Ultimate is if the Switch fails horribly and Nintendo goes out of business. Oh, they give us fucking. Um, Wario. Yeah, or the <laughs> Joker baby. I was going with Ultimate as in last. Oh, no, Ultimate as in the best, they'll just never top it. No, it's, it's Waluigi that we want, not Wario. Yeah, oh, Wario's in it. Credit like, Wario's in it. And he has a move where he farts XD. Credit where it's due. At least their Ultimate Edition doesn't have three other special editions after it that cost more Ubisoft. Yeah, you don't know that yet. No, we do know that. They've put up price. Yeah, there's actually a cheat sheet for all the different versions of Assassin's Creed that are coming out. Wait, is there a bunch of different... Like, there's seven. And you just different incremental DLC thing. The ultimate edition. With. The ultimate edition is the third highest edition. So what's the highest? What's the? Oh, the, there's like three editions that come with figurines and different DLC. Those very ultimate, ultimate and edition. super ultimate. Yeah, the ultimate edition is even the ultimate edition. Proving once again that Ubisoft don't know what wants mean. Uh, I don't know what decency means. Absolute horrible company. Like, like that cunt's iconic cap from Watchmen. It reminds me of Tell Performance because it was an Xbox and the staff lounge, but it was only PlayStation games. Xbox. That's an actual way to, like, what a great environment in a call centre to have, where you're already feeling low because you're in a call centre, yeah. and you're like, bang, go play some Xbox with PS2 games. Bring in an Xbox game, then. Because like, everybody just has original Xbox games sitting about, oh, just go to CX. <laughs> Alright, let's spend money to work in a call centre. Oh, right, let's spend a pound to make your life a little what, bit What are you going to get easier. for a pound? Fucking uh, Blinks the win. cat. But, no, you're the not. The only thing you're going to get for a pound at a CEX is entry. Yeah, you'll get, <laughs> you'll get bully. Oh, oh, oh yeah, it's Fucking bully. can't wait to play that for half an hour a day. It's not even called bully because <laughs> we live in the cupped UK. It's called like Candice Candom Edit or something. Yeah. Yep. Which, what does that even translate to? Dog eat dog. Really? G- give me all your money, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a very good game. I, apparently it was quite good. I never played it. Oh, hell yeah. Golden Golems here. Uh, it it seemed alright at the time, but don't I've attack seen some it's dead because I'm like, like that you fuck up Ziggler. Well, it's it's just really drab and boring. Yeah. Not much to do. But I've not played it since the 40k moves. So Alright. Yeah. There's like a bunch of re-releases. Have you seen um, San Andreas? Like, recently. It just Not even graphic Heel. mods can save that game, man. It's fucking disgusting looking. Do you know what can save that game, though? What? The sex mods that got it banned to Twitch. <laughs> oh, I mind that hot coffee. Oh, that was a controversy and a half. Uh, back they banned what, like the 2005 game. Or something. <laughs> they banned the game from Twitch. It's fucking amazing. Just because a mod exists for it, like you're not even allowed to play it without the mod. Then you're just not allowed to stream it anymore. Oh shit! What about Ledger Sweet Larry? What? Do you ever play those games? No. What do you actually do in those games? I don't know. Fuck buds. You're not helping me any fuck buds, yes. Like what? There must be some gameplay to it though. Like you have to hit on them or something. Um. Aye. Nah, you just fuck them. 
Oh, is that much of a player, Larry? Bold Larry just fucks him. Uh, he I gets think it just for sure. Up. About once. I think it's like mini games or something. Well, like wank off the cock until it comes. <laughs> Mario <laughs> Party with sex at the end. Yeah, you just tap my button, but Mario sex, sex Party. <laughs> just wearing a fucking ball gag. <laughs> oh, can I have some like A trump chump. <laughs> 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 it makes a fucking look like alien. <laughs> fucking a bob on for a butt plug. Oh fuck. Um dangerous. <laughs> you could use one of the pink bob ones. They're more Aye. friendly looking. <laughs> in fact they are the friendly ones, aren't they? They're like get in this cannon, Mario, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, they do do that. But they go <laughs> Right, how do they sound? Like, I think everyone in that game sounds like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess they do. Well, except Mario, who actually has a voice, I guess. He's oh like, yeah, he has like a real voice. He's like, hoo-hoo! <laughs> Yahoo! Imagine being the only person in the world with a real voice. <laughs> everyone else just goes, meh, 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 That's horrifying! <laughs> right? Just like interact. Oh, you fuck. idiot! <laughs> Get <laughs> scammed, idiot. I know what this chest does. <sighs> I should have known. Why didn't you look? I didn't, didn't think I'd have to. Why didn't you think? Sam Raimi's Spider-Man is all I've been seeing on the fucking like YouTube algorithm. Same. Uh, it's just decided, uh, you know what I'm going to be pushing? It's Spider-Man today. It's your fault, by the way, that I got it, because you told me to watch that one video, then it found, it found me that other response video. I and then see, as soon as I watched that, it was like, your inbox is just Joe Rogan and Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, brilliant. That's what I want to fucking come home to. What was this? The YouTube algorithm has been handed. Oh, what what video is it? Um, it's the Cosmonaut Variety Hour, like Sam Raimi Spider Man trilogy, not as great as you might remember. I think I might have watched like and one of his videos, and it's been suggested to me so much. <laughs> well, his I'm channel has had like interested. an insane amount of growth. Like I can remember watching yeah, the channel when it had like less than hundred k subs. Mm. Right. So um. Do you think that it is better or worse than you remember? Well, did you watch the response? That I, I thought the response didn't actually really... It was more or less just critiquing his critiques, which some of them were valid, like some of the subtext that he misses. Yeah, but, sure. But, like, apart from that, the films are generally pretty cheesy. They're littered with some really awful... You remember these shots because they're bad, not because they're good. Sort of yeah, moments, do you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, I watched uh, someone else's. In fact, I think it was the same guy who he then went and watched the Amazing Spider Man 1 and 2, and it made me really have a horrible appreciation for them because I quite liked Amazing Spider Man um, 1. Not the second, though, no. Uh, I've not, I didn't see the second one, but I'm, I'd never need to watch that film. Fucking hell, that looked dire. I had like four <laughs> villains. The best part yeah. in it is you've got like Jamie Foxx's Dwayne Dibley for 20 minutes because <laughs> he's done up like a pure nerd and he's obsessed with Spider Man. Like, it's brilliant, but. It was crazy though because like they mentioned that whole uh, oh fuck I'm able, I can get down there but I can't get back can I? You can up there. Yeah, you go up there and then walk back up. Oh okay. It's just an item here that I've never got. <laughs> you can't go that side of the hill. Just hold it. anywhere on that side of the hill you did. You know I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they put Chinese slaves in the gold mines in America? Uh, something like that. Yeah, and no, no, they made the rail network. Yeah, it killed but they use them. They use them in the gold mines as well, and they get frequently blown up with dynamite. <laughs> well, that's, that's their fault me. for always like historically playing with fireworks and shit. They invented that shit, so they have to be prepared to die they by that shit. Own monster. Oh, I live by the sword, die by the. Well, that was. A yeah, good yeah. Story. Follow your own fucking mantra. Eyes How on the road. Happen? Because you're walking too far. The no, way. it was the frame rate. Man. Eyes on the road. I guess you could it's also argue rate. that if it wasn't He's them, they wouldn't have the MCU potentially. So. But that's, it's so weird possibly, that, like, possibly not. it opened a floodgate. I mean, there was other superhero films before it, but they were like... But that was like, shit. he was like the first actual superhero. Uh, before that, it was like, what, Blade? I mean, you had stuff like um, Batman. Batman, but it wasn't really as, like, DC Comics weren't really as involved in that. It's like handed off to Tim Burton, like, make a movie. I guess Tim Burton done a, a fair job of it, I guess. It's, it's such it's a cheesy. Tim Burton movie, though, that's the only thing I don't like about it now. What is it? They've got like singing and Jack no. Skellington. Jack Skellington. You know what I mean? No, it's like, just like all Tim Burton movies are a the Joker same. in the air. Imagine he was a Joker. Baby. No, he can't be. He was a Riddler. Who? Jim Carrey. I, but Jim Carrey wasn't fucking Jack Skellington. No, I know, but he was the Riddler. He might so as well be the Joker. But why are you bringing up Jim Carrey? Because you said Jim Carrey. Not that. You what? No, I said Jack Skellington. I'm sure I heard you say Jim Carrey. Are you even a real what? Are you from I mean, like a real I am person? stoned, but right, okay. I'm sure I have to see Jim Carrey. Oh, we're also in California for this video. Yes, Why? California. Looks at stock price. 
Oh, I thought he got ready with all the clams, but he did not. Nah, fuck you, mate. Not that it matters, because these clams die like little fucking clam bitches. Clamp, clamp, kabam. I fucking clamped, mate. <sighs> what? If only you were funny. Clamps! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that made you laugh earlier. I've not seen you laugh like that in literally ever. I laughed like that in the last video you uploaded because that had Ryan's fucking 99% muscle, 1% Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> what? You talking about Bruce Lee? I was and watching Bruce Lee the other day and I was like, he's be tiny. like water. He's so tiny. Yeah. Like, like see if he fought like an MMA guy from now, he would get the shit kicked out of well, him. Well, no, because he'd fight in his fucking weight category, obviously. He's not going to fight Brock Lesnar. Oh, I'll get him in I'd the ring love, I'd love to see that. But that's what fucking idiots always say. They're like, oh, he could beat up like, the heavyweights and now it doesn't matter. He's got the skill. It's like, no, they would eat him for breakfast. <laughs> Lesnar would literally pick him up and take a bite out of him and throw him <laughs> at the ring. Crazy bastard. Lesnar's insane. I mean, the guy's like the size of a fucking house. But nah, so we're talking about Bruce Lee, and I was like, he's a fucking mental fighter, and Ryan's like, well, I, he's, he's like 99% muscle, one part Chinese. And that just, that caught me off guard so much. <laughs> Such a bang thing to say. You're gonna get caught. Come on, don't get Damn. killed. But I should go into the cup. Oh you. shit. Hew hew. Frame rate, that bro. Picasso's beating the shit out of Seath, by the way. Wait, what? Yeah. It was a Picasso. <laughs> yeah, it was fighting Seath. Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, if Seath turned you into a mad snake king, would you attack him? Fair point. Oh, that's a good... That is interesting, actually. Did they lose their free will in the lore? Um, some of them did. Then how come, like, two of them are just sitting there greeting, even if you're happy? Uh, Green? They're, they're apparently higher priestesses, that's why they dropped those miracles. Oofed. Maybe. Oh, you're combo, yeah, mate. If you've got the volume up, they legit sound like women crying. It's fucked. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They are women crying. They're just horrible women crying. I right, sexist. Fucking hell. All women are beautiful. They're crying because they're horrible, Tony. If she breathes, Please. she a fuck. If she breathes, she a Picasso. Come on, cut his tail Did you see the uh, Olivia? Olivia rejects the light. World of Warcraft. Elodin. Elodin, yeah. Elodin rejects the light. Oh, you're saying that like you know who Illidan is, Tony, shut up. He's the guy for World of Warcraft, and he, he, he almost rejects the light, but Which he guy? What, what colour what is he? Race is he? Wrong. He's purple. No, he's no. He is. Yes. No, no, you're trying to call him a bluff. What colour is, is it? What, what, what colour's what the light? Many eyes does he have? White. Two. Rang. How, how, there's no other amount of eyes that anything has in World of Warcraft. He has none. How he's, many scars does he have? He cut them he out, because he didn't need them, mate. Did they need them? Don't want these. How many scars does he have? Completed it, mate. Look at what completed eyes. <laughs> completed work living without eyes. <laughs> <laughs> why do you just run up to the big one and beat him? Yeah, why do you just help? end the boss? Try to get the fucking tail. Why? Spoils why did you try to get the tail? <laughs> why indeed? Why not? Oh, because you're building in. It's fucking Moonlight Greatsword time. There we go, Sam's got it. Dude, in, this, in this mod, it fires out two beams. But there's more focus on that. That works for this the Greatsword. No, he's talking shit. He's just trying to like justify his stance with lies. Right, attack. Like a politician. And then he goes. So why aren't we playing Moonlight Great Sword? Like a Cause some kind of baller? We're not investing fully in intelligence, we're only investing to get the crystal magic weapon. Do it though, within in 40 decks. You can you could probably magic weapon fucking Moonlight Great Sword. And then we're not getting any of the scaling from 40 decks. Yeah, but and we then can do it fast. Can... Uh, come on. Well we can do power within fast. No, the the cast speed increase you get is fucking it's like two frames. Uh, it's really that yeah, tiny. You need to like Only get out of this in bad scenario. Frame it's oh. frames. Oh, it's just he's fucking gone for it. Then. No, no, that's not how it works. Yes, yeah, yeah, it no, it's not. Wait, you need to end this now, mate. No, I'm trying to get the tail. But you're only you're gonna, gonna get him one more time. He's, he's, he's not gonna. He's not gonna get enough help. <coughs> you just you watch. If you don't believe him, just watch. Bastard. There you go. Well, that was really easy.